We want to determine the limits if they exist. Notice both limits involve the same exponential function, f of x equals e raised to the power of negative x cubed plus two. And for the first limit, x approaches negative infinity. And for the second limit, x approaches positive infinity. Before we take a look at the graph of this exponential function, let's see if we can determine these limits by analyzing the behavior of the function as x approaches negative infinity and x approaches positive infinity. It comes down to determining whether the exponent is decreasing without bound or the exponent is increasing without bound. For the first limit, on our way to negative infinity, we would obviously pass x equals negative 100. Let's just check the function value at x equals negative 100. The function value would be f of negative 100, which would be e raised to the power of negative, and then the cube of negative 100 plus two. Simplifying, the cube of negative 100 is going to have six zeros and be negative. We would have e raised to the power of negative and then negative one zero 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 zero. The cube of negative 100 is negative one million. And then we still have plus two. Simplifying again, the opposite of negative one million is positive one million plus two, giving us e raised to the power of one million two, which is obviously a very large number. And as x approaches negative infinity, it's going to get larger and larger and approach positive infinity. And therefore we say the limit of e raised to the power of negative x cubed plus two as x approaches negative infinity is equal to positive infinity. Next we have the same exponential function, but now x is approaching positive infinity. On the way to positive infinity, x will obviously equal 100 and then still increase in the positive direction. Let's check the function value at x equals positive 100. The function value would be f of 100, which is equal to e raised to the power of the opposite of the cube of 100 plus two. Simplifying, we have e raised to the power of the opposite of the cube of 100 is positive one million plus two. Well, the opposite of one million is negative one million. The exponent is negative one million plus two, which gives us e raised to the power of negative 999,998. Writing this using a positive exponent, this is equal to one divided by e raised to the power of positive 999,998. If we have positive one over a very large denominator, that's a very small value, very close to zero. And as x approaches positive infinity, the values will get closer and closer to zero which is why the limit of the exponential function as x approaches infinity is equal to zero. So I think there is some value in trying to analyze the behavior of a function rather than always relying on a table or a graph. But let's also verify these results graphically. Remember on the x-axis, positive infinity is to the right. Negative infinity is to the left. So for the first limit, as x approaches negative infinity, we are moving to the left along the function as we move to the left, we can see the function values increase without bound, which does verify the limit is equal to positive infinity. For the second limit, x is approaching positive infinity, and therefore we're now moving to the right along the function. We can see as we move to the right along the function, the function values are approaching zero, verifying the second limit is equal to zero. I hope you found this helpful.